How's your daughter doing? She got caught tearing a note up after school yesterday. A good note or bad note? A bad note. From a teacher. Talking in class. Probably. Hmm. This is Steve. Uh, we could probably be there in 15 minutes. Let's go. I've been on SWAT for 14 years. I'm on the entry team, which means we go inside and we secure the place. Yeah, this is one of these kind of operations where you know, time's critical. Uh, if we get there too late, the guy gets away. So uh, everybody's got to respond quickly. Why do I always have to ride in back? I call it shotgun. <laughs> This guy wanted for him. They've got warrants for this guy for manufacturing meth. We're heading to a part of town that's it's a pretty quiet neighborhood, so it's an area where a drug dealer or a manufacturer could kind of stay under the radar. We want to get this real bad because if this guy's a manufacturer, he can put a lot of dope on the street. Meth cooks are generally known as being very tweaked up, I think is the term they use, which means paranoid, suspicious. Uh, weapons are definitely probable in a situation like this. Okay, suspects will be a white male. He's in the department in the backside in case you see somebody bail and run. The potential for violence is always there, so. We're going to the back door. We've got the other guys covering the other door. That's our target apartment right there. So we're basically going to surround the place, knock on the door, and have him come to the door. We're at the back door. We don't see any movement inside. Got to hold this for a minute. Hold, hold this, guys. I'll be right back. We're going to go check the front area of the apartment. A lot of these meth dealers have a lot of friends hanging around waiting for the cook to finish, so. When we go into an apartment or structure, the first thing that we're looking for is to secure it as quickly as we can. When we go into a place, we're looking for active standing threats, and then from there, our second phase is to look for people that are hiding from us. We got, good, we got good PC, we got glassware in this room for a lap. There's a box right there that's got some high dollar glassware in there. I mean, extremely expensive stuff. Single neck beakers and things like that for cooking methamphetamine. He's, he's got the uh, setup to make a large quantity of methamphetamine. Our suspect's still at large and we're still chasing him. We're fairly certain that he's still in the vicinity. One of my guys just radioed in, said he saw our suspect go into one of the vacant apartments. There's a guy that I saw was wearing a dark blue shirt. Suspect Richard Whisk panicked, I think, when he saw our squad cars or us and ran to this vacant apartment. The apprehension was was pretty quick, and he cooperated fully. You rely heavily on your partners, and that's that's the whole concept behind SWAT. And anything short of that, we, we take the risk of losing. So, and we cannot, in our job, lose. The, the price is too high. 